Okay, so um, now that we've looked at the page, everything looks good. I want to kind of add some headings and I also want to uh, customize the text so it's not sitting so close to the picture. And maybe just fine tune, tune this a little bit more. So um, the first thing that I want to do, you want to make sure your dome is visible. And you could see that after my image, uh, if I click on my row, basically all these text options gets highlighted. And of all the files that I have in these folders, the JavaScript and the CSS are also available to me in these tabs right on the page. So for this one, if I want to add some margins so to push this row down, you'll see that my first option, that's the layout option, is not giving me, it's all grayed out, which means that I'm locked out. I'm not able to change or manipulate this row. So in order for you to be able to do that, you wanna create, click on your CSS, Bootstrap CSS. And from the top panel, you see that it says, oh, this is only for reading you can edit it and there's a link next to it that says oh you want to make it re writable you want to click on that link that says make it writable so now when I click on my row and I come back to my layout option you see that everything is basically now available and I can add margins I can add padding so here I'm going to just add a little bit of margin here like maybe 30 pixels Oops. I just type it in there. Just take 30 pixel. And then I'll just maybe a little bit more actually. Then if I want to do the headings. You can click here, move this down, highlight this first line, and from a property, make sure your property panel is visible. I'm going to change this to like a header one, or maybe header two. Um, you can also assign it, you know, so that your header two is a different color. Maybe sample it from the photo you have on the page. Do something a little brighter. Um, so this is how you customize the page. Um, you can also take it further, change the background color as you've seen on the video, um, and so on. So. Again, just make sure you do some um, customization of uh, your, your um, files. Maybe I'll add this. Actually, I think I prefer the darker color better. So if I just click here, I'm just going to come back and sample and add that one in there. Um, and again, you can just manipulate um, the width and sort of uh, play around with the, with the files. Um, and one other thing that I wanted to show you was on the nav here. So let's just go back to my design. So maybe instead of drop down, you can say like more. Um, but and I, I will show you how to delete drop downs as well but maybe for now we're just going to keep it kind of nice and simple and that's basically all you need to do for this week um, so you know maybe we'll add one other thing here 
you should be able to that should be super easy for you guys so we can add actually a video YouTube. I will just do Hi, I'm Bill Burr and I'll be hosting SNL. Okay, so from here you want to choose um, share and embed and you want to copy the iframe both here. I know in the video you learned it a different way too, but both ways would be fine. And come back, make sure you're you always want to be on split. I'm gonna make sure you're on your source code. And so and come back here. Maybe I want to put the video somewhere around here. So I'm going to save it. I'm going to close this, close this, and then um, you can see that I have my video, I have text. Um, and you can probably put another picture or another video here. Um, so now, and I can see that everything is responsive. The picture is responsive, so it's going to resize based on the media that you're looking at. So that's all you need to do for this week. Okay, and then next week we're going to learn um, about making these interactive. And I know you have learned that, but I'll make another video to address how to add the links.